I've made this animation in Procreate Dreams of a red robin flying in the snow. In this video I'm going to explain how I made the animation. So I'm going to break down this shot. I use different techniques in Procreate Dreams. There's the bird flying here. There's a parallax effect. I'm using some uh, snow effects and also did some frame to frame animation on the red robin and also used the record button. So I'm just going to open up the timeline and it is in one group and with that group I made the camera move. So I compiled, you know, all of the layers within the group and then I, you know, could do the pan of the camera. So just let, let's open up the group and there you can see the different layers. Here are the layers for the snow and I've made two layers. They're actually uh, duplicated layers. So turn off the snow. Here's the character that comes in and that's a little bit later. First, it's just a, a health frame and here starts the frame to frame animation. And this I did with the record button. And for the arc, the, the bird is flying into, I've made a guide so that I, you know, could uh, keyframe the animation on how the red robin would fly in. And I turn that off. This is the foreground. These are the birds in the back, seagulls, and here's the background. And the last layer is the sky, and I also animated the sky. I made this um, background in Procreate around two years ago, so I set it up so that, that there is a foreground, a background, and the sky. Let's go back to Procreate Dreams. So I imported that Procreate file into Procreate Dreams and I already made a, a basic video about Procreate Dreams. There's also a playlist and you can, you know, tap on the playlist i'll leave a link below this video and there you find all the videos about procreate dreams so what i just gonna turn off all of the layers so i used keyframes for uh, the clouds so i started uh, the keyframe right up here and then at the end of the video, it's 30 seconds, I moved the clouds around. And you can do a, a normal pan, but what I really like is to have some depth of field or uh, to have the background also move when you do a pan from the top to the bottom. So I also animated the background and this is just a background so i placed a keyframe here and another keyframe here and you can see that it creates more depth into your background so i animated it on the track so this is also the pen that's done in the entire group and on top of that I had the foreground
and the foreground just stays in place. And in this way, you know, you can create some interesting pans, you know, that there is a depth into the background. First, I animated the birds in the background. Just go here. And here are the other ones. It's just a very simple animation. I've made it into groups. And this is um, a frame to frame animation, just very simple. And it, this is a held frame. And that I just animated with some some keyframes. So let to let the birds hover a little bit in the air. I've made this into a group and then I duplicated all the groups so I need to have all the groups combined into another group so I can you know move the group around. And I just duplicated that and uh, made the same animation, but I started it on a different track and apart from each other. So the birds don't have the same animation or the animation starts a little bit later. So that's a, a time saver you can use. I'm just going to turn off all of the layers because I also uh, made some snow. And it's pretty easy to uh, make snow. Maybe just turn off all of the layers. So the foreground, the background, the birds the sky and I created uh, a blue background so that I could animate the snow and you can change the, the background color when you tap on the time code I here you can change the color of your background so here's the snow that's one layer and to create this snow and maybe you cannot see it's also out of the frame And I created that, just go back to drawing mode and there's a nice brush you can use. So if you draw with white, when you go down, there are some great element br brushes and I used driven snow and that just tapped on, on the canvas to create this snow. And then I animated it simply by um, placing a keyframe on the first frame and then drag it, drag the animation down. So it looks like snow. And just move it around a little bit and then I duplicated the the same layer and made it a little bit smaller and in that way and I'm just gonna zoom in you get more snow on top and in the back I'm gonna turn back on uh, the background so here starts the animation of the Red Robin. And this is just a held frame, which I animated with keyframes. 
And how I did it, uh, I used the layers. I have to go to, you know, each drawing. And then you can open up the layers panel. So what I did, I'm just gonna zoom in. I separated the first made a sketch, a rough sketch of uh, of the of the bird. Then I lowered the transparency or the opacity of that frame. Then on the top layer, I inked it with a pencil and then turned off the rough sketch. And underneath it, I colored it with the colors. And here starts hand-drawn animation so he flaps his wings and then he sits on the tree trunk just gonna zoom in on the on the track so these are all groups So groups are your friends in uh, in Procreate Dreams. So these are the individual uh, frames. So each frame is hand drawn. And I created this flapping motion, and then I duplicated it here again. And now he lands onto the tree trunk. So I did the coloring of all, all of the frames, but I really didn't like the saturation was too high. So what I did is duplicate this group of the bird, turned uh, this one off, and duplicated the same groups within the groups. And then I, on the first frame, I brought down the saturation so that it would fit the background. So now it's a little bit different. Just gonna, here you can see the red robin. So here's the saturation is a little bit uh, too high. So with this uh, filter and you can just press on on the timeline and when you choose filter you can you know change the opacity or you can change uh, or use Gaussian blur sharpen it noise or used HSB and HSB is hue saturation brightness and with this I change the the saturation of of the little bird and for this part I used a uh, performing mode and you can use that by pressing on this button this is the perform button and here you can animate you know by just dragging the character and it will record your animation. There's a little tip to it because when you use it and there's a modify button here and there's a uh, motion filtering. So if you want a smooth animation, it's set to around uh, 50%, I think. But when I, I just wanted to be a little bit more quirky so that he hopped onto the branch. In order to achieve that, you have to turn down the motion filtering. Otherwise, it will, you know, be uh, too smooth. So this is how I animated the bread robin in snow animation. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. I also made a playlist of all the Procreate Dreams tutorials and I'll leave a link below this video. Drawing is fun 
and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!